Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to use video scopes for iCut color grading. So you might be wondering, what is a video scope? Well simply put, it's a graph which shows exposure information and color information in real time based upon the video that you have on your timeline. So this comes in really handy for adjusting contrast, exposure, white balance and skin tones and it keeps the color grading consistent. So now I'm going to show you some examples and explain how you can use video scopes for color grading. So first we have the histogram, probably the easiest to understand. It shows two pieces of information, brightness and data. For brightness, the darkest parts are on the left and the brightest parts are on the right. And for data, the bottom represents no data and then the amount of data increases as you go up to the top. This is what a histogram for normal exposure will look like, which shows data spread across all brightness levels with most of the data in the middle region. Now I'm going to show you five scenarios which should cover all possible exposure situations. First we have underexposure. Notice most of the data to the left. And then we have normal exposure with most of the data in the middle. Then overexposure with most of the data to the right. And these two peaks represent clipping where a lot of the data is on the recording limit, which looks bad. Now we have over contrast, which shows data on the left and the right, but almost no data in the middle. And low contrast, which has data in the middle and almost no data in other regions. The goal is usually to have something similar to the normal exposure. And now onto the RGB parade. Right away this shows us clipping, as the colors on the RGB parade are touching the top line so we can bring down the highlights so they are just below the top line. This will make sure that the detail is visible in the clouds, which are the brightest region for this shot. Then we'll pretend this shot was underexposed. We can see the regions touching the bottom line, which show underexposure. We can use the lowest point on the RGB parade to accurately see where the black point is, which comes in useful for keeping your color grades consistent. And we can also use the RGB parade to see whether the white balance is correct. All colors should be roughly horizontally in line when you have correct white balance. As you can see when I adjust the color temperature, the colors are not in line horizontally, which shows white balance is off. Onto the vetroscope, which is very useful for color correcting skin tones of all types. Right now the scope is showing information for the whole shot, but we only want information for the skin tones. So we can draw a mask around the region of skin. So now only the skin tone information is on the scope. We can see that the skin tones are slightly above the line which indicates correct skin tones with too much magenta. So we can add a little of the opposite color to shift the skin tones closer to the correct skin tone line. As you can see, if I shift the colors around, the data drifts from the skin tone line and looks bad. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this helps keep a color grading consistent and accurate.